Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to discuss about methods of list. This is part 2. So in our previous video we have already discussed about these methods and now we are going to discuss the remaining of them. Clone method. Clone makes a duplicate copy of a list. Contains method which accepts an element as parameter returns true if the list contains the specified element. Equals method that accepts another list compares this list with the specified list and returns true if both lists are equal otherwise it returns false. Get method accepts an index and returns the list element stored at that specified index. Index of accepts an element as parameter returns the index of the first occurrence of the specified element in this list and if this list does not contain the element then it returns minus 1. So in case the list is having that element at more than one places so it will return the index of the first occurrence of that element and in case if that element does not exist at all then it returns minus 1. Is empty function returns true if the list has zero elements. Otherwise, it returns false. Remove method accepts an index and removes the list element stored at the specified index, returning the element that was removed. Set method accepts an index and an element and sets the specified value for the element at the given index. So it might seem to be as same as the add method with the index, but there is a difference set method overrides the element at the specified index whereas the add method shifts the rest of the elements. Size method returns the number of elements in the list. Sort method sorts the items in the list in ascending order. To string method returns the string representation of the list. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. So guys here we are on our developer console and let's create the program for the list methods. So here's our program and as you can see I created a list of integer where I have assigned values to it in a hard coded fashion and then I created another list and I cloned the first list for this. Then we are printing the value of list 1 and list 2, adding a new value to list 2 and again printing the value of list 1 and list 2 to check and verify whether adding this element is going to affect the list 1 or not. Now here we are using the contains method to check whether 20 the new element that we have added is there in list 1 and in list 2 or not so it will return in form of true or false. Here we are also using the equals method to compare to list over here where we are using the size method to return the size of both the lists which we are storing into integer variables and we are printing the size of these lists over here by using those variables. We are also using the same size variable to get the last element of the list by using size minus 1. So definitely if the size is 10, the last element will be at size minus 1 index because the index starts with 0. So here we are printing the last element of list 1 and list 2. So guys you can clearly see that the list 1 and list 2 in the first two lines are same because we have cloned list 1 into list 2. Then we added an element to list 2 but that adding of element is not going to affect list 1 hence the clone method is also going to copy the value rather than copying the reference. Adding a value in any of the list is not going to affect the other one. And that's why the contains method is returning false for list 1 and is returning true for list 2. List 1 and list 2 are not equal because list 2 is having one more element over here hence it's returning false. The elements, the number of elements in list 1 is 10 and the number of elements in list 2 is 11 and the last element of list 1 is 10 and the last element of list 2 is 20. Here I want to show you one interesting thing with equals method so I'm going to add few code over here. So guys you can see here I've created a list of string and in both these lists I have assigned the same value the difference is in their cases. Now when we are dealing with collection with any type of collection including list of string type the values are case sensitive. So if I'm going to use the equals method now it's going to return false over here. The reason being when we are comparing the value of any collection with string type case sensitivity is a major concern. 
So let's see the output. So guys, you can clearly see both the lists are having same value, but the case is different and hence the lists are not equal. Now let's create another program to see list methods. So guys here I have created a list of integer with name list one assigned value to it in a random fashion. Now I'm checking the index of 23 and 25. As you can see 23 is part of the list definitely it's going to return the index one but 25 is not part of the list hence we will get minus one over here. Now we are going to remove 32 from the list itself but the remove method accepts an index so what I am doing here I am calling the index of method to return the index of 32 and that index I am passing to this remove method hence it will remove 32 from the list and when I will print here definitely it will print 45, 23, 67 and 48. We are setting a value 100 here in the list and now we are setting at 0th index so what it's going to do it's going to replace the value at 0th position that is 45 will be replaced by 100. We are using sort method over here so the list will be sorted in increasing order and then when we will print the value the list will be printed in increasing order itself. We are checking the list is empty or not and right now list is having value hence in this line it will return false but when we are calling the clear method the list will become empty and then when we will call this is empty method it will return true. So let's see the output. So guys you can see index of 23 is 1, index of 25 is minus 1, it's printing the list 45, 23, 67 and 48 and when we set the value 45 was replaced by 100 and then the sorted list is 23, 48, 67 and 100 and then when we call is empty right now it's false and after calling the clear method is empty is returning true. So guys that marks the end of this video, see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care.